I'm gonna just say this. Some of you guys, y'all not ready. Some of y'all want things too easy. I think you guys watch these YouTube videos and you watch Instagram and you see everybody else's success and you think that it's just gonna happen like so quick, but it does not happen like that. If you really, really, really wanna get like results like fast, you need to be working your ass off. Like you gotta be working like every day, okay? Um, some of you guys are getting discouraged too quick. That's why I meditate. See, I talked before on one of my videos about frequencies. And I don't think you guys realize how important it is to operate at a high frequency and to not have negative people in your circle and putting you down. And, you know, I mean, it all boils down to everything, like from the stuff that you put in your body. Like if you're smoking and drinking and like all that stuff is those those are downers. You know, they affect your mood. OK, so um, I highly recommend you to stay hydrated drink water you know um eat healthy you know every now and then eat a salad stop eating burgers and stuff like that like all this it really has something to do with with your um with the success in your business because you're not gonna operate good if you are not taking care of yourself okay these are just traits that i had to learn but some of y'all asses ain't ready y'all not ready because y'all about to piss me off i mean damn <laughs> it, it's not gonna happen overnight for you like i literally had to cold call every day i, I did flyers i did everything i talk about in all these videos if you watch them you know what i'm talking about every single day i didn't miss a day and once you do something every day if you do it for 90 days you develop a habit whatever you do for 90 days it is now a habit okay so you have to train yourself on getting up and staying at it you know what i'm saying don't just sit around and wait for leads to drop in your lap you know because it don't work like that you need to learn how to follow up with your clients once you go on these walkthroughs it's very important that you follow up i can't stress it enough oh <sighs> Okay, I literally, back in 2018, I had an apartment complex tell me no about six times before they told me yes, okay? Um, it's December, and around this time, this is the time y'all need to really be going hard. You know why? Because... A lot of companies are getting rid of their cleaning company that they had all year. You know, this is the season where if 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 they had a cleaning company and the cleaning company has been screwing up all, all year and you come in there with your card, they're they're ready to take more some new proposals. Okay? I know. Because one of one of my offices just got rid of us. I guess they got tired of us, honey. I don't know. But I got I got a little note in in my in my um, inbox, and it said, "I'm sorry, we won't be using your service for uh, 2021. $570 account a month. Yeah, you win some, you lose some. Um, but I understand. I get it. They never did tell me what the problem was. You know, we never got any complaints all year out of the account. But sometimes." You never know. They, somebody else might have might have just outbid me. You never know. But I'm not gonna cry about it. Some of y'all cry too goddamn much. Oh, and I don't be wanting to hear that shit all night. Like I don't be wanting to hear it. You know what I'm saying? Um, because I got my own problems. I got my own stuff that I'm dealing with. You know what I mean? And I have to have tough skin for my own stuff. You know? So in your world, you're gonna lose clients. People are gonna be moody with you. People are not going to show up when they're supposed to show up. Uh, oh, God, wait till you get to dealing with the employees. If that piss you off, then you ain't ready to deal with employees, honey. Okay? I just had to fire somebody yesterday. Okay? I mean, it's so close to Christmas, and I hate to do this shit. So close to Christmas, but I had to do what I had to do. Okay? For the sake of my business. Okay? But you can't let everything piss you off in your business. Okay? That's why I say some of y'all need to chill with this entrepreneur stuff because... You ain't ready yet. You ain't seasoned yet. 
you know you ain't quite there yet you know wait till you have all those accounts those nice accounts and then you have like three and four call outs in one day and you freak out you know what i'm saying wait till you get your employees and 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 your employees start calling you checking you about their money because they feel like you short them off off of their check yeah i deal with it all and i always have to say that if if, if i made a mistake hey i I'm, I'm gonna straighten you i don't play around with nobody money you know what i mean but can you deal with that can you deal with the heat you know of, of people coming at you all kind of ways you know what i'm saying or or um clients you know might might uh keep nitpicking you know they'll send you back for a crumb crying out loud can you deal with it i don't think you can i don't think you can deal with it uh-uh because the little if little stuff like um you going on a walkthrough and the manager didn't show up if that's if that's enough to make you sit down you're not ready you have to be a beast you gotta keep going that's what it's all about it's not gonna happen overnight for you it didn't happen overnight for me okay but the money is in the follow-up and a lot of you guys not even following up like you got all these clients that you all these walkthroughs that you went on and you ain't follow up with nobody nobody i got clients that i'm following up with that they they might not say anything to my emails but i just walkthroughs that i went on last year you know and i still still remarket talk retarget all these people okay okay but you know you really 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 have to stay stay at this that's why i named my company tenacity you know because you have to have persistence you have to really stay at this thing it's not gonna happen overnight man and i know you hear it all the time but it's not it's not gonna happen overnight it's not easy i like to um compare entrepreneurship to losing weight because it's, it's damn near the same way just like it's it's hard to lose weight well it's hard to grow a successful business it's the same way just like you have to be disciplined in losing weight you have to be disciplined in your business the same way you have to stay at it you have to be disciplined when it comes with 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 the funds the money that's coming in you have to know how to manage it and be disciplined the same way you know but some of y'all ain't ready i'm gonna just leave it at that you know you really got to think about this before you do it before you invest in any llc <coughs> before you get any kind of software accounting software before you get any kind of business account you need to ask yourself am i really prepared to be an entrepreneur am i about that life for real for real am i going to stay dedicated every day am i going to learn and teach myself every day stay self-motivated every day you got to be hungry you know every day i'm i'm still learning as an entrepreneur and teaching people at that because i do one-on-one -on -one coaching so but i'm learning as i go and I'm all, you gotta really be a beast to do what I do, cause god damn. Whew. Two companies? Now my girl, Simply Southern, that won a contract today. Congratulations to you, okay? This thing just happened so quick. But, um, she called me, well, let me back it up. Client contacted me, I sent her the lead, and she acted on it right away like she called she went today because the people said today and she went today like she was hungry okay um and there's four buildings okay small offices that she's gonna be doing you know what i'm saying thousand dollar uh thousand dollars a month account man congratulations all i'm gonna say is congratulations i'm not gonna go all into it but she called me we went over the bidding process on which on how I felt like she needed to bid on it. And we came up with a number. The number that they gave her was a shitty number. I told her that was a shitty number. So we negotiated a number over the phone and then she called them and they were able to meet in the middle. 
so we're all happy, you know, because she can, it's, it's, it's decent, it's decent. So um, congratulations to you, uh, Simply Southern, for, for, for acting, man, and take, taking action. You didn't wait, that's what I'm saying, you didn't wait, like, you went out there, you didn't, you, you went there, okay, you ain't procrastinate, no, oh, uh, what if they ain't there, what if, what if, <laughs> congratulations, girl, that's all I got to say, congratulations, y'all go, I got to get out of here and, um, get home, because I heard my mama cooked.